So, uh, good morning. Uh, my buntag tanan. Good morning. This will be my vlog on how to succeed in Arduino projects. No, so you have heard about Arduino, the like the microcontroller revolution of the I don't know, 2010s, 11, 12, mga ganun. Okay, uh, I was a bit early in the game, naman, no? not really that early, but I was about there when it started to boom. So I've been using Arduino since 2011. Oh no, 2012. So, gamit ko siya since pagka, ano ko, uh, binata ko pa. Weird, no? So, I think Arduino is so prominent nowadays sa ating mga digital space, especially sa hobby spaces or maker space or even engineering kasi napaka-simple, napaka-dali, and hindi siya masakit sa ulo compared sa ibang circuits. I've tried a lot of circuits before, especially embedded systems like Zilog, mayroon tayong PIC, uh, Atmel, medyo, ano eh, uh, mahirap sila kasi you have to learn assembly or C or some other code aside sa simplified uh, code ng Arduino kasi naka ano eh, simplify naka library ni Arduino eh um, Arduino is actually a version of Atmel but running uh, running a certain code in that uh, portion sa controller na bino burn or nilalagay that's what we call the bootloader the bootloader will boot or load the the basics of the Arduino software so Anything of that, no sorts. So that's a bit technical history no, of me and the Arduino. But I'm gonna share to you mga tips ko how to succeed in your project implementation with Arduino. So stay tuned. So what's up, guys? So right now I will teach you the basics to get started. I will assume that you have a basic skill on electronics, lang, no? Like what is a resistor? What our LEDs, what is a capacitor, what are power supplies, okay, and some basic skills of foresight like alam ko yung ano yung shorted circuit, alam ko yung open circuit, alam ko yung basic, basic lang electronics. Okay, I'll assume that you have that. And if you don't have that skill yet, please improve that skill. Read, 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 learn, and kung pwede lang, makapractice kayo on actual components because that's how I started. I started in theory and then basic components, basic skills, basic terminology, um, reading sa mga meters like ohmmeter, voltmeter, ammeter, you have to have that skill. Kasi kung wala, mahihirapan kayo sa Arduino and, may, and maybe hindi yan magiging successful and very complicated na sa inyo lahat. So I assume that you have a very basic level of skill so that, uh, so that you could improve upon that. And next is you should have also a very basic knowledge of programming. Okay lang kung flowchart. May alam kayo sa flowchart. Sudo code meaning coding like um, Java but Python. Uh, kung pwede, may JavaScript. Meron din kayong mga ganong ideas. If you know programming, Arduino is very easy for you. If you don't know about programming, I suggest you learn Python kasi very easy to learn siya. And you'll know the fundamentals of programming like uh, conditions, loops, Statements, variable types, yung mga, mga ano pang pattern dyan, print, mga ganyan. Uh, Python is a great way to start about programming. I suggest wag na kayo mag-database part ng programming. And just a very basic step kasi Arduino kasi it's not a really complicated machine. It's a very simplified machine compared to the computer. It's actually a mini computer of, of a sort but has a specified or specific function. Okay, so... Next is, after you've learned the basic skills of electronics, programming, you should know the technical history and the background of the Arduino platform. Arduino is not actually the software, the hardware, it's actually both. It's a microcontroller platform, meaning it's a platform like a stage where you could perform, you could do a lot of projects, do a lot of things, okay? It's not that simple now. Arduino is a oh, computer, no. It's a set of commands, set of rules, a community, and dami. It's like... Uh, a very big consortium, all sorts. So you must know the basic history, uh, the basic functions, the limitations of such a machine because not Arduinos are made the same. Daming klase. But you should start with the most basic is the Arduino Uno. U-N-O. Okay? I started with Dwemel du Nove. I forgot that was a very old model before uh, before the precursor of Uno, lower memory, mga ganun. But ngayon na Uno, medyo okay na. So that time, mahal pa kasi Uno. Mura pa yung Dwemelanove. That was about, about uh, I don't know, 500 pesos, 600. I forgot. So medyo mahal pa yun that time, 2012. But right now, you could buy Arduinos for 120 pesos. Okay. Meron tayong mga malilit na Arduino like Pro Mini, 
uh, micro Arduino, uh, mga ganyan, for smaller projects. Uh, you could also have a more powerful Arduino like the Due, Jue, or the more pins like the Mega. But actually, you'll start with the Uno because you will know the limitations of the Arduino Uno if you master all of the concepts behind it. Because if you don't get it, it's really easy to go to the advanced sections of the board. But actually, it's recommended to start from a base platform because it's easy to Uno. And a lot of people could help you if in case you have a problem. So, yeah. So after knowing what kind of Arduino system that you have or the technical specifications, if you want a project in mind, okay, always think at the end, okay, anong project, anong gusto mo makikuha ang project? Huwag ka lang mag, ano, bilhin na bilhin ng ano, sensors, huwag ka bibili ng mga actuators kung hindi mo alam anong project mo. It's like you're coursing through the jungle with a bolo knife and you don't know where you're going because wala kang compass. Dapat may compass ka. Dapat alam mo yung end ng project mo. What do you want to achieve? Kasi the project itself would limit the scope of your parts, the scope of your program, and it will make your life very easy. So know your project first. So after knowing the project, that's where magsa-search ka sa online. No? It's about research, research, research. So what would you research on? Uh, you'd research on the project that you are going to make. Um, people who tried to make it or have attempted to make it because it will be easier. Kasi it will be a guide for you. Kasi pag wala kang guide, mahirap ka. You will really get lost or hindi mo matatapos project mo on time or hindi siya maganda, ang daming faults. So you base your idea on their experience. No? You can ask questions sa YouTube, especially like, I'm not endorsing a lot of people, no? but ito yung nag-help sa akin. No? Uh, the Fruit, uh, Educate TV, okay, Great Scott, medyo advanced Great Scott, but very and intuitive ang kanyang explanations. Julian Islet, especially sa mga new parts, updated yan siya. And Instructables.com. Okay, there are certain bloggers out there that I won't mention that are scrupulous. What do you mean by scrupulous? They are, ano, making a project seem complete or adequate, but hindi nila sinasabi ang mga things behind it, like errors, faults. Now, those projects are erroneous by nature. No, they are not honest. So, please be aware sa mga ganyan. Hindi naman ako, hindi naman ako ano, parang hindi ko din degrade ang mga Filipino hobbyists than pa mga iba na hindi naman talaga honest sa ginagawa nila. Sabi nila, maganda, maganda. Ito yung gawin mo. Actually, hindi. It's not that. Kasi, may foresight na kasi ako, iba din, alam nila namin na, uy, fake yan. Or, uh, scam. Mahirapan mga baguhan dito. So, I suggest yung sinabi ko, Adafruit, Educate TV, Great Scott, Julian Islet, Instructables, they're one of the most honest people na magsabi anong problems sa mga projects would you buy or make, mga ganun. So, please keep in mind sa mga ganun channels ha, na you have to learn the errors, the pros and the cons. So, you have to research, research, research. Okay? After research, then you will gather the circuits that they made and draw parts. Now, if you have a basic knowledge on circuits, most likely, hindi ka gagawin na sarili mo circuit. You will follow what they made and add a little modification. That's where you buy the parts, okay? Availability ng parts. Well, before 2012, 13, 14, 15, napakahirap bumili ng mga parts electronics. Pumupunta pa ako sa Raon, sa ano yun siya, bandang Quiapo sa Maynila para makakuha ng bagong parts. Sa Alexan, sa Dico, mga ganun. Or sa, ano yun sabi nila? Basta yung mga old parts sa stores sa Philippines, doon pa ako bumibili. But the revolution came when online markets or online stores came in. Kasi may mga online stores na existing is yung R, R, ano yun? RS Electronics and Mouser, napakamahal. Original lahat ng parts doon. So, dumating yung eBay, doon ako nagsimula, eBay, napakamura. Kasi PayPal eh, medyo safe pa that time. eBay, medyo matagal din siya mag-send. Mga 2 weeks, 3 weeks, or 1 month. Halos mga parts. Tapos, ano, um, next, AliExpress. Hanggang ngayon, AliExpress binibilan ko kung rare talaga na part eh, hindi ko makikita sa Lazada and Shopee. Okay, so, maganda bimili ng parts sa Lazada and Shopee. Nandun yung mga favorite local electronic component sellers. Pag nasa Davao City kayo, gusto yung mga bago, nasa ano siya, um, basta, nasa link yan sa baba. Okay? I won't mention any store, but madali na lang sa Davao kasi may Lazada, may Shopee tayo. And sa Shopee, most of your needs ando naman. Okay. So, sir, kailangan ko pa bumili ng electronic kit ng Arduino if I want to start? 
Actually, if you want to start, wala ka yung knowledge about this, it's good to buy one. Okay? If alam yung project and in mind yo, but kailangan yung talaga ng project and in mind, kung na kibumili ng kit, bili na kayo ng mga parts sa kailangan nyo. Okay? Kasi gasto lang eh. So, next, the last thing is to try and prototype it. Okay? So, ito na implementation. Gagawa ka ng hardware mo. Ano bang unahin ko? Software or hardware? Okay. I suggest para hindi kayo mag-fail hardware and software sabay nyo. Paano? Konti-konti lang. I-break down nyo ang whole system into subsystems. Example, dog feeder machine. Sa dog feeder machine, meron kayong input sa dog. Input is yung, ano lang, ultrasonic sensor. Next is motor para pang-release ng mga, ano, ng, what they call this, dog food. And meron kayong real-time clock. Meron din kayong Arduino. So, ang gagawin nyo una is, of course, Arduino muna. Yun yung brains ng project nyo. Tapos, meron kayong hardware. Ang hardware dapat mag-work siya maski wala Arduino. Manumano nyo yung i-on, release yung cover, manumano nyo papakain ninyo yung dog. Okay. So, there could be very different components like the input. Ang input nyan is yung ultrasonic sensor. Okay. Kailangan nyo na input ano yung nakikita nyo. So, may dog ba wala, dapat ma-detect na Arduino. Next is yung output. Like, meron bang motor or servo na mag-release ng food? Then, timer nyo ang food. I-test nyo yan. Kailangan nyo program muna ng Arduino for this input muna. Then, erase. Kung check nyo kung tama ba yun. Then, output na naman. Check nyo kung tama. Then, erase. Then, sabay sila. And then, last na yung real-time clock or mag-check na anong oras papakainin yung aso. So, isabay nyo naman sila tato. I-check. Dapat, isa-isahin nyo. Okay? Mas maganda yung ganun. But, I suggest yung hardware nyo, kung may hardware kayo, Um, gawin nyo na agad yung hardware kasi mahirap yan. Okay? Hindi lahat nakakagawa ng hardware, hindi lahat may skill. So, iba nagpapagawa sa ibang tao. Ah, ganun. But personally, I make my own hardware kasi mahal eh. Ayaw, cheap ako na tao eh. Gusto ko ako gumagawa ng projects ko. So, yun lang. Again, uh, starting individuals, you have to have the skill of basic electronics. Like, yung short, open, mga terminologies, components. Then, basic knowledge of ano, programming. Flowcharts, pseudonyms, or pwede nga yung Python lang. Kasi Java ang Arduino, but almost related lang. You could start from there. Then, basic knowledge or technicalities on Arduino, like history, ang kanyang limitations, mga ganun. And, search ka ng tutorial online. No? Ano yung mga tutorial online? Like yung mga videos relating to your project, and you have to have your project in mind. Hindi pwede na ikaw-ikaw lang mag-wander around. Okay? And, You have to learn the circuits or implementation. Okay, alam nyo yung mga circuits na ginagamit. Then, parts. May parts kayo online. Check nyo, baka wala kayong parts. Meron ba alternative yan? Mga ganun. Kasi kung wala alternative, might as well change the circuit. Parang ganun nangyari, di ba? And then, last is prototyping. Okay, so prototyping, dun na ginagawa isa-isa. One component, then I add one another until maging okay ang system. Sabay yung hardware and software, like yung wires, yung circuit, and yung software mismo. Yan. Kung may hardware kayo, like yung mechanical moving part, gawin nyo. Okay? I suggest do not use breadboard. Okay? Madaming teachers masasak, uh, ano, maireta sa akin. Ba't hindi ko nagbe-breadboard? Oh my gosh! I, okay. Ang breadboard is really good for old 1980 circuits. Ngayon, napakahirap kasi most breadboards are of low quality. Nagkukuro din sa loob. Tapos, ang wires yan, kailangan mong dikit na maayos kasi pag hindi nakadikit yan, mag, ano yan eh, mag-open circuit. Tapos, hindi mag-reading Arduino kasi digital circuit, medyo sensitive. Mga ganun. Ang daming issues pag breadboard gamitin nyo. I suggest perforated board. Learn paano kayo magsulda. Which, bring us, which brings us to the first premise. Dapat, may alam kayo sa basic skills sa electronics. Especially pag ano check na components and pagsulda okay so those are my tips no on how to make a successful Arduino project kasi pag major complicated kasi Arduino if you don't have the basic skills i assume that you have the basic skills in mind so that next time you would be able to uh, complete your project okay so these skills are not learned overnight no i learned them through years and years months and projects after projects or failure after failure okay the most important thing is that each and every failure you learn and you make sure that you won't do it again. Okay? So, so that's ano, one of the most important skills. Resilience and padayon lang. So, if you really love Arduino, makakapera kayo nito, but it's not the money that you will really expect na makapayaman sa inyo. It's just for ano lang, uh, pleasure, sometimes ano lang, like your heart's desire. 
So I think I've reached not my goal, but I've reached the point that I could share these things to you so that so that I could help newbies alike now. I started almost wow, eight eight years oh nee, ten years ago now. No? I only had touched the Arduino after two years of basic electronic skills. So that time I was not really involved in anything. I'm just learning, learning, learning. Yun. So over ten years I kind of a uh, hashtag or quote unquote mastered it. But not really. There are more skilled people than me, but I am more knowledgeable than them or I'm willing to share more than what they can share, I guess. So I hope you found this video very helpful. If so, please like, share, comment, and subscribe and share this to your friends, Nahilig Electronics. Okay? So see you next time.